This is the Fat Bee Man, and I'm going to talk about cleaning some frames. What we got here is uh, see some frames here that we pulled out of a hive. We're going to melt this stuff down. We're going to clean up all this old wax. And a lot of people get old, discarded, or dirty looking, mildew, discolored frames. And this is the easiest way to clean frames that I've found. This is just a five gallon bucket of water with a cup of bleach in it. And I'm going to pull these frames out of here and show you how nice. Now look at these frames. They actually look almost like brand new. And if you look at the frame, you see all this mildew, discoloration, I also like to bleach these frames for another reason. On these holes inside the frames here, wherever these holes are, these are your pin holes. And there's where you put your pins to hold the waxing or your bobby pins. Now, if the hive has died out, these are places where wax moth is going to get in and lay an egg. And if you don't clean them, then you just transfer this stuff into another hive. Now what I've done is just soaked them for a little bit on one side and you see how nice and clean these things come out. You basically just turn them over, stick them down in the water on the other side. I'm trying to do a video and hold this at the same time. Now this other side is going to come perfectly clean. They'll look brand new. They're nice and they're sanitized. You're not transferring a disease. You're not transferring nothing. This this bleach will kill a lot of this stuff that gets in these hives. Small high beetle larva, and it gets the wax moth larvas, and it gets fungus that grows on these hives. If you're in an area where there's a real lot of moisture, your hives will start to get mildew on them. So it's good preventative to go ahead and soak them in a bucket of bleach. I mean, you could do it on a larger scale. I've got some laying over there that I just pulled them out of the bucket, laid them down, and just let them dry. Now you can take frames that are basically really bad. Get a couple of these frames up here and show you what I'm talking about. See this is all wax. Even here's a sheet of wax that was put in a hive. It's brand new. The hive had swarmed out. They started to build a little bit on here. All this stuff is to be melted back down. And I'm going to start back. Now here's another frame, and you can see they draw it on it pretty well. A little bit of drone coming to the bottom, but you see this frame has got a lot of dark spots on it. It looks a little bad, so what we'll do is put them in there. We're going to cut all the wax out, scrape them down, and then we're going to throw them in the bucket. You can do four or five frames. Now another way you could do it is get you an old cooler, and you can do it eight or ten at a time, but a few here and a few there. Will, will make a big difference. I had just done some classes today and here's a couple bottom boards that we made. We made some lids, some bottom boards and that. Saturday we're going to be doing a queen class and so we got people coming in from out of state going to take a class. If you're interested in any classes you can always contact me. This is the Fat Bee Man. Appreciate you watching.